Right, absolutely. Well, let's bring in our first guest, Dan North. He is the chief economist for Euler Hermes ACI. Dan's walking around the long way. Dan, there. how you doing? Welcome Hello. back to the show. Hi, good to, to see you again, Hi, Dan. Thanks for coming back. A lot of news going on today, even with this uh, slower volume trading with a lot of people on vacation. Uh, but we started off the day really tough. Well, we had the durable orders that we didn't talk about as well right. for November. Uh, they were down seven tenths of a percent when the market was looking for it to be up almost three percent. And then you also had the assassination of the former prime minister uh, there in Pakistan. So right. a lot weighing on the market today. Not much good news today, for sure. The assassination, durable goods orders off, the uh, applications for mortgage volume uh, was down considerably. Um, and if, has anybody looked at the, uh, the jobless claims? Uh, Four-week rolling average jobless claims are up 12 percent since right. May. I don't think that's uh, been, been real apparent. And continuing claims up 10 percent. So to me, that was almost the biggest, uh, biggest piece of news coming out today. Employment market weakening, for sure. But do you make much of that, though? I mean, weekly, it's so volatile. I mean, shouldn't you rather look at the monthly? I mean, we mm -hmm. always talk about how that's much more important. But can right. you really take that much away from just a week by week? Right. Well, this was the four-week rolling average. And it's been a trend, certainly, uh, upwards, as I say, since May. So that, with the uh, continuing claims being up, and the trend in non-farm payrolls definitely being down, and 50,000 layoffs in financial services, yeah, I think the employment market for sure is weakening. Well, do you have any positives to point out? I mean, because seriously, I mean, it was an ugly day. The, dirt, mm -hmm. the data's been ugly. Right. But people can always paint the data as ugly. What, what out there that you actually are liking? Are there some sectors or some dynamics in the marketplace that you do like here? Right. Well, we always like, uh, not always, but we do like consumer electronics. We think that that's been strong and uh, will continue to be strong going forward. Obviously, we like uh, things that are um, defensive because we see the, uh, the economy deteriorating going into 2008. You still like consumer electronics even if you're wanting to go defensive? Mm -hmm. I, do you really think the, the consumer can bifurcate? Oh, that's $2. Do you really think you, the, the you consumer love that can word. separate that itself? Word several from, times. I know, and, and every time I get an email from our producer saying that's 2 bucks. Yeah. So I'll put $2 in. And every time but, you okay. say that, it reminds me of barfing, somebody barfing. <laughs> bifurcate. Barfing. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> i got to throw 20 and I'm rich today. So the question is... I got is, a lot more ammunition. I can use a lot more big words before this show's over. Go ahead. The bartenders will love you. <laughs> go for it. Well, you got to pick a sector. And we still think that that sector is going to be okay. The consumer is really tough. And while we think the consumer is definitely pinched enough that it, they might actually drive the economy into recession, the economy, the uh, consumer always has credit cards. Yeah, they're being selective about where they spend their money. Um, well, let me ask you this. What do you think about financials? Because there's some people out there <laughs> that think that financials may be a good buy because so many people are... For trade, are, at least. For yeah. trade, at least, because so many people are negative on the financials. I don't know. I wouldn't touch it. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not that much of a risk taker. Oh, that makes me a little more yeah. bullish. Rebecca doesn't yeah, want to touch it. Yeah, he's definitely much more bullish than I am. But what's well, your take? Well, there are three of us here, and two of us don't like the financials a lot. So, uh, <laughs> Which is... Guys, seriously, though, viewers out there listening, I mean, this is, you want to buy when everyone else hates it. Well, you well to... we, we don't want to steal your thunder, but what is but Dan But I am saying, mean? but Dan, you are saying you hate it, right? And I mean, For sure, and the reason you got, is... You got Buffett saying he hates it, you got right. Dan saying he hates it, you got Rebecca saying they hate it. The reason, Who's left to hate it? The reason I hate it is you don't know how bad it is. And it keeps getting worse and worse all the time. All of these uh, unknown uh, write-downs keep coming out. I guarantee you a lot of the big financial services firms are going to keep coming out with unknown losses. That's what I think is really great. And, Cody, you're going to invest in Citigroup when you're just saying that it's insolvent? I know, exactly. <laughs> For the record, it's not an investment, though. It would be a trade. I would be looking at some slightly out-of-the-money, near-term calls, maybe four or eight weeks out, and just sort of try and play a trade here. If, the, if those stocks would pop 10 20%, percent you make so a lot I'll of money on some out-of-the-money calls. I'll tell you what. You tell me when to get in and tell me when to get I'm out. I'm telling you, today is the time to start <laughs> getting in, and I'll let you know when it's time to get okay. out. And, I, by the way, I might tell you I was wrong, and you have to sell it anyway, because you know what? I am wrong Then sometimes. you're going to give me my money back? No, absolutely <laughs> Darn, not. forget it. No. <laughs> Doesn't work that way, right? Yeah, not no. all the time. I'm not, I'm not taking that trade. You're, you're not, not taking that trade. No, I'm not catching the falling knife. You know, it's, it's again, it's just what you don't know is out there, and it seems like when you hear announcements, it seemed like those companies didn't know either. So you'd stick with the defensives and maybe an Apple or two out there? Mm -hmm, I think so, yeah. Those, those are what I'd be looking at. Amazon? Uh, always a possibility, yeah. Um, again, we're relying on the consumer, but you might get electronics I like the short Amazon versus long Google, long Apple. 
Um, Fair trade. Yeah, I, I couldn't comment on that either. What? <laughs> Dan, all right. Thanks Dan, we'll so much. see you back we'll in, the, in just Thank a you very while. much. So Appreciate much. it. And Guys, Cole, Cody will elaborate on the whole financials part in a separate segment. I'll but talk it's about interesting. it later. It's no, a, it really it's a, is it's interesting. A, another flip it. Let's yeah, put it that so, way. Yeah, uh, so email Cody and tell him what you think. What is it, Cody? Tell me how crazy Cody I am. Cody at foxbusiness.com. Fox I'm not a big newsflash about my craziness yeah. either. Yeah, and I'm gogo at foxbusiness.com. And include your city, uh, your name, of course, your city and state, and we'll uh, get to your emails. But on tap next, what do you got? On tap next, it's my flip it with one of my mentors, Scott Rothbard.